Banish 46 version 2. Banish 46 V2 is a 46 caliber suppressor. Works on anything 4570 government or 458 SOCOM and smaller. That includes Magnum ratings, so like 338 Lapua, uh, 375 H&H, or 416 for you guys that go to Africa. The suppressor itself has a lot of updates from the previous model, one being it's a lot smaller and lighter for being out in the field and using it as the hunting's sake. Um, the silencer itself is 15 ounces, comes in at eight inches long and has 12 baffles in it. Uh, 12 baffles in an eight inch baffle stack is kind of a unique stack for it. It has a lot of baffles in it, which really aids in its suppression. Just like most of the Banish series, it is a user serviceable suppressor where baffles actually come out for cleaning. It comes with a tool in the box for you to remove the end cap. The end cap is going to have an O-ring on it and that will be important here in a couple minutes. So I will mention that. The baffles themselves are going to come out. There is 12 baffles inside of here. One of them is different than the others. The baffles themselves do key and index into each other. So you just want to make sure that they're locking into the next unit. Being titanium, you can clean them with an ultrasonic cleaner, tumbler, gun solvent, and a brush. There's a lot of different ways you can clean the Banish 46 V2. The one baffle that is different has holes in the top and is actually steel. You want to make sure that that baffle ends up on the muzzle side or closest to the top of the suppressor if you're working on it like I am here on a bench. So make your stack after you clean it, index your top baffle, drop the tube back on, and then when you get to this point, you're going to want to remember that this O-ring should not be visible when you reassemble your suppressor. The baffles themselves are unindexed or not properly aligned if you were to get stuck in a position like so where you can see that o-ring take your end cap tool reinstall it everything is hand tight including hand tight on the firearm if you're using the banished qd or direct thread systems and we're all set make sure you check out the banished 46 v2 thank you